Okay, here we have the Chrysler 300 that I did the two rocker arms on and then lifters. It still sounds good and quiet. It had the cams chewed up a little bit. She went to a like a quick lube place and to get her oil changed and they said that someone had drilled a hole in the under panel or something and they was worried they couldn't get it back on so they wouldn't do her oil change so we got to see what they're talking about there and she wants me to check out her front suspension and the control arms and stuff and she said a check engine light came on last night and then it wasn't on this morning so i got to do a code scan all right let's see what the scanner says engine oil pressure circuit control circuit stuck off p06 dd make sure we got oil in it or you know make sure it's full well, of course if it's a switch it's just going to be on and off and there is no oil on the stick at all so it could just be low on oil because if it's a pressure sensor it'll actually show the pressure but if it's just a switch if there's not enough oil to turn the switch on then it will say stuck off so could just be the oil okay i'm gonna go ahead and clear all the codes ball joints, control arm ball joints have a little play in them. Got my old curry heating up, give me some coffee. 2012 Chrysler 300, 3.6 liter PG 6135. Okay, this is for the customer because uh, they, the oil change place told her that they couldn't do the oil change and they said that somebody drilled a hole in the splash shield or she said they said something else um, but I don't see any holes the only thing I see is this uh, one 10 millimeter counter sunk way up in there maybe they couldn't get that out or something but other than that, everything looks normal. A few zip ties here and there. But hey, that's normal. <laughs> or maybe they're talking about this where they somebody drilled a hole for the zip tie or something. You know, I don't know. I cannot believe a uh, a quick lube place would not change the oil because of this. That's that's pretty silly. If the quick lube place wanted to be that uh, petty about it, they could have just took all the bolts out. Let it hang by the zip tie and then put the bolts back in. They wouldn't even have to touch, cut the zip tie. <laughs> okay, we had no oil on the dipstick. I'm not gonna measure the oil coming out, but we're gonna get an approximate idea of how much we got in there. I'm guessing that's about uh, two quarts. Just guessing. Um, now I did see your oil cooler housing is leaking a little bit up top. It's not so bad that it's pouring down the back of the engine. But it is leaking. 
and then you've got a little you got a drip here coming off the bottom of the alternator that might be from the valve cover coming down i'll take a better look at it up top engine oil core housing is leaking a little bit you got some puddles of oil down in there but like i said it's not so bad yet that it's um pouring off the back of the bell housing and the oil the little drip of oil that was coming off the alternator um the valve cover is dry so I'm going to call that uh, timing cover leaking a little bit. And the only play I seen in the front end was the upper control arm. The ball joint had a little play in it. Let's see what the oil sticker says. 140,933, 145,966, so right at 5,000 miles. So we probably ought to uh, have them to change the oil cooler housing because it's leaking, because that's awful low for only 5,000 miles. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day.